His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Dhabiya Palace. The cabinet highlighted the importance of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's address, delivered by the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa at the 146th Interparliamentary Union Assembly and its related meetings held in Bahrain under the patronage of His Majesty. The cabinet expressed pride in the IPU choosing Bahrain to host the largest and oldest international parliamentary gatherings and commended the efforts of the Shura and Representatives Councils, the National Organization committee and the relevant authorities on the success of hosting this important international gathering in preparation for the upcoming blessed month of Ramadan His Royal Highness called for doubling the financial support for eligible individuals on social security and disability allowances and directed the Ministry of Social Development to disperse the financial assistance in light of a memorandum submitted by the ministerial committee for financial and economic affairs and fiscal balance the cabinet reviewed the urgent plans and procedures which were implemented by relevant authorities following the directives of His Royal Highness to stabilize the prices and availability of commodities to account for changes in global markets. The cabinet decided to extend fee waivers for industrial lands allocated for food storage facilities for an additional month. The period of suspended fees will now span four months. His Royal Highness directed the Ministry of Industry and Commerce to intensify inspection campaigns to monitor the stability of prices. The inspections are designed to ensure the abundance of consumer goods ahead of the holy month of Ramadan. The cabinet welcomed the joint of tripartite statement by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and Iran, mediated by China, resuming Saudi-Iranian diplomatic relations. It expressed appreciation for China's initiative to host and sponsor the Saudi-Iranian talks, complementing the Iraqi and Omani diplomatic efforts, and commended Saudi Arabia's leading role in supporting security, peace and stability, as well as pursuing diplomacy to resolve regional and international disputes. The cabinet then approved the following. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Social Services regarding the operation of social centers during the evening hours, enhancing their role by holding various activities that benefit citizens and society. A memorandum submitted by the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments regarding the establishment and operation of an accounts and property disclosure office. And a memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the government's response to three proposals submitted by the Council of Representatives. The cabinet also reviewed a memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and economic affairs and fiscal balance on the latest developments in the kingdom's performance and competitiveness and in international reports and indicators which revealed an improvement in the kingdom's regional and international classification across many indicators. The cabinet then took note of the following. The meetings held by the Minister of Foreign Affairs on the 146th Assembly of the IPU held in the Kingdom of Bahrain, the outcomes of the 5th UN Conference on the Le Least Developed Countries, participation in the 159th session of the Arab League Council, participation in the Sarah Week 2023, participation in the International Tourism Bourse in Berlin, the calendar of events in Bahrain from March to May 2023.